what's up guys welcome back to the channel today i got a new video for y'all again i know just like the last video it's been a long time since i made a video sorry i just been chilling man working trying to save up money um and that's really it man just trying to i'm just trying to get the ball rolling on my motor so you know i can get back to actually racing man because you know the past few videos or actually videos for a long time have not been me racing because my car has been down so you know i've been really just hustling trying to get that shit get that process done that way you know we can get back to racing man because i miss it i'm tired of watching i fucking miss racing i'm trying to get back to it but today's video today's video um is going to be going to quick 30 in houston so um they want to take the zr1 again um so that's what we did man we went to um houston raceway that's the track in baytown quarter mile track this was the last quick 30 event that they will ever be doing at that track because that track is closing down this year i believe right after 2k so um this is going to be the last event that texas speed syndicate will be hosting at that track um i really really hope that texas speed syndicate moves this event just to a different track so there's really not a whole lot of options in Texas. It's either going to be Ennis, which is in uh, Dallas, or which is Texas Motorplex, or it's going to be um, maybe, I'm trying to think what's it called. I think it's called like Ev Evendale, Evendale Raceway, something like that. Um, that's like northeast, I think, of Houston. Um, that's a track that like Midnight in them will rent out. I know they rented that track a lot whenever they had their sixth gen. Um, that actually seems like it would be a pretty good track to do that at but it's obviously going to be texas speed syndicates call on what track to use if they even decide to um to continue the event i mean if they move to dallas i know they would have no problem filling spots um it's going to attract a different crowd over there for sure but you know that could be a good thing and i am willing to drive to dallas for that event because it's a killer event every time pretty much get to make as many passes as you possibly want um so when my car is back i definitely need to hit events like that because i want to get my car dialed for sure at the track and um just get it locked in man because i want to get back into racing i want to get back into grudge racing um i just want to see what the car can do man that's, that's really that's really it but anyways so today's video is going to Houston for Texas Speed Syndicate's last Quick 30 event at Baytown. Dave wanted to run the ZR1, and, um, you know, so that's exactly what we did. And I'm filming this intro actually after the track. We literally, I just got back into the town that I live in. Um, but I'm filming this afterwards. So I'm just going to roll y'all into the footage of the track. It's only going to be passes and stuff. Um, I didn't really vlog any at the track or anything like that. Um, I've been slacking on that, man. Every time I've been doing something, I haven't really been vlogging or nothing. So um, I'm working on that, man. It's like I almost forgot how to make a video. But um, I didn't really vlog, though, at the track. So sorry. But, you know, maybe not on the next one. But um, anyways, I'm just going to roll you into the footage at the track. And I hope you all enjoy it. We'll talk about it afterwards.
39, that's a pretty good guess. And 1057 out of the Mustang. All right, so we're going to All right. Alright guys, so there you have it. That um, sums up the track pretty much. So overall, Dave's car did pretty well. Um, there was one pass that I did not record. I think I said that in the beginning of the video. Um, that one pass, he went 9-0. Um, and then, you know, he was having a lot of throttle body issues. So basically, his car was leaving fine. But once he got out there, I want to say like third gear, going into fourth gear, the throttle body was starting to close on him. So... Um, he's having issues with that throttle body. I think he's going to end up just replacing the throttle body. That throttle body is probably just kind of going out on him. Um, but he still managed to go at 898 with the throttle body closing on him. And I knew something had to happen when I saw the pass because he only trapped like 155 or something like that. So, um, you know, normally any of his past eight second passes have been at like 160. So, um, so I knew something had to have happened, and it turns out the throttle body is closing on him. So um, with that being said, his car is actually moving pretty good because it was pretty warm. So um, the fact that he was able to just go eight in that weather alone was already pretty impressive. But especially with the fact that the throttle body was closing on him, that just makes it that much more impressive. But um, you know, he finally put on that smaller pulley. I've been, I've been talking shit to him a lot, honestly, just like trying to bully him into putting on the, putting on the smaller pulley because, you know, he just hasn't really wanted to. But he finally did, and um, now I think he's probably going to keep that smaller pulley on because his car's running a lot harder. Um, sucks that we didn't get any really good data because of the throttle body, but um, I think his car will probably go 880s pretty easily on that smaller pulley. But, um... Anyways, guys, that's that's going to sum up the track. Um, I wanted to just kind of give you a quick little update on my car. So my motor is at GPI. Should be getting worked on um, pretty much any day now. So, you know, hopefully they can get the process started on that. And hopefully we'll be getting the motor back somewhat soon. Um, I do still owe them a little bit of money, not a lot. But uh, that should be paid off here pretty quick. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll get the motor back. And then once we get the motor back, I got to get some small stuff like um, low pressure fuel pump, injectors, and then also a auxiliary pump. And besides that, I mean, that's really about it. Once we get those, once we get the motor and then the fuel stuff, then we should be able to go out and roll race pretty much. But tuning is probably going to take a little while for tuning because I think we are going to remote tune it again. 
Um, might be a little risky, might not be. I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to Ryan on that. If I have to take him the car, then I guess I can, but I really don't want to have to, you know, drive all the way back over here, put the motor in, and then go all the way back again with the car and let him tune it. So um, we'll have to see how that ends up playing out. But, um, but you know, my car is finally, finally making really good progress. So, you know, hopefully not too much longer. I'll be out racing myself. I'm getting tired of watching all these races, man. I want to go out and actually race myself. I miss it. But um, I just wanted to give y'all that quick little update. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. New channel, please subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video.